In this video, we're going to talk about some simple ways to protect your data. This way, you won't lose your manuscripts if something unexpected happens. Welcome back to the Protect Your Author Business video series. In this series, we're going to talk about how to protect the many different areas of your writing business. If you're new to this series, click the YouTube card above my head or the link in the video description, depending on where you're watching this, so you can catch up. In the last video, we talked about the many dangers that can destroy your data. If you lose your data, you lose your business. In this video, we're going to talk about some simple strategies to protect your books. I learned these strategies from working in insurance. These three strategies will help you prevent accidents as well as mitigate the ones that do happen. Diversification is a strategy that spreads your data across multiple formats. For example, you can save your book manuscripts on your computer, on an external hard drive, CDs, DVDs, a USB drive, and in the cloud. This way, if one fails, you have the others to rely on. Duplication is a strategy where you duplicate your data in multiple places in order to protect it. USB thumb drives, for example, have a very high rate of failure, so it makes sense to back up your work on at least two of them in case one of them fails. And separation is a strategy where you separate the physical location of your backups. So if you have multiple USB drives, for example, don't keep them all at home. You can leave one with a relative or put it in a safety deposit box at your local bank. That way, if your house burns down or is robbed, you have a source of data that's unaffected. Diversification, duplication, and separation all work together to protect your data, but they only work if you back up regularly and frequently. So here's a three-step strategy you can use to protect your data today. Step one, buy an external hard drive. They're dirt cheap these days, and you can get them for usually less than $100. Copy all of your data onto that hard drive. Use automation software like Time Machine or something similar so that your data backs itself up automatically without you having to initiate it. I recommend backing up at least weekly. Step two, buy a couple of USB thumb drives. You can get these anywhere and they're so cheap. I mean, come on. <laughs> and they should be able to store all of your most important data without worrying about space limitations. Weekly or monthly, copy all of your data onto them. Then separate those devices. I recommend a safety deposit at your local bank, but it's up to you. Step three, purchase a cloud backup solution so that you can also store your work in the cloud. I recommend Backblaze. For $50 a year, you can store all of your data on their servers, and if you lose your computer, they can actually send you a hard drive with all your data on it. They can even help you track down your computer if it gets stolen. Dropbox and Google Drive are great, but they're not 100% secure. If a thief deletes your Dropbox data on your computer, it will also delete it from the cloud. Google Drive and Dropbox are syncing services, and you want a backup service that actually backs up your data, and Backblaze is the tool I use to do that. To get started with a free trial for Backblaze, check the link in the description. It's an affiliate link, but I only use affiliate links for products and services that I personally use or recommend, so you're in good hands. Plus, you can't beat their prices. That's how you protect your data. This is nearly foolproof if you use it. Yes, it takes some extra effort on your part, but when you think about the hours, days, weeks, months, blood, sweat, and tears that you spend on your manuscript, and the agony that you're gonna go through if you lose all of that without backing it up, well, I think that's an acceptable trade-off. That's it for this video. If this is your first time watching, I'd love to have you subscribe, and if this video helped you in some way, consider sharing it. More authors need to know about how to back up their data, and this video will help with that. Thanks for watching.